I'm going to look at how we use the bar model for multiplication and division. So starting with um, the calculation 6 times 9. If I was to draw that in a bar, I use the same bar as I would do for um, addition and subtraction. Okay, and um, with this and 6 times 9, I have got 6 groups of 9. So I have got 6 groups, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and in each group is worth 9. And that's giving me my unknown total. So six groups of nine, I've got nine six times. So my one, two, three, four, five, six groups. And in each of my groups, my value is nine. And that can help me represent the fact that it's nine six times and that my answer is 54. That's my unknown number. Same thing. If I now know that 54 um, is my total and I'm sharing it into six groups. So same thing, my total is 54. I'm sharing it into six groups. So I've got six groups, but I have no idea how many are in each group. My representation would be that. So I've got 54 as my total. Um, I know my number of groups, I've got six groups, but I don't know the value of each of the group. So then I can work it out, share, and I know that um, 54 divided by six equals nine. And finally, it would be that I know um, that I'm doing uh, 54 divided by 9. So this time, I know the value of each group. I know my total is 54. And I know that each group is worth 9. What I don't know is how many groups I have got. So I would represent that here because I have got 54 as my total. I know that each group is worth nine, but I don't know how many groups I've got. I can then do the calculation. I can see that actually I would need six groups.